what is up, you guys? WWE fan 0599 here again. And today I'm going to be reviewing episodes 1 through 5 of Arrow. Yes, welcome to Arrow Chat Fridays. I'm WWE fan 0599, and I would like to thank 22 Tiger Dude for letting me do this segment on his channel. So, this week we will be reviewing episodes 1 through 5. And then next week we're going to be reviewing episodes 1 through 9. I mean, bleh, episodes 6 through 9. And just to prepare for next week's uh, mid season premiere. So, let's start with episode 1, which is called The, C the Claim, I think. So, this episode is basically about, you know, um, the event. Um, the events of the season two f finale, six months after it, and you know we see the city's back back in control. We see that uh, Oliver is now the vigilante thing is off. It's now no longer will we be going after Green Arrow anymore. So yeah, and there's this guy that used to work with Count Vertigo that is now coming after Green Arrow. So what I think of this episode? Oh yeah, by the way, spoilers. Spoilers. Haven't if you haven't seen episodes one through five, do not watch this review. All right. So yeah, spoilers are ahead. So what I think of episode one, I thought this was a great episode. I really did. This was a very great start to the season. It was really really great. I did really enjoy this episode. I know Twenty Two Tiger Dude did not really enjoy this episode, but you know that's cool for him. I really did like this season premiere. Um, so I guess let's get into what I liked from this episode. You know, I did like the character development from this episode. I did like the fact that, um, you know, we got more develop. We see that Oliver now likes Felicity. And we see them going on their date and everything, and you can tell that it's not going to work out, really. It isn't. You know, you see that the restaurant gets blown up, and so, yeah. Um, we see Oliver fighting this, this guy who, um, really just wasn't really that menacing. I thought, really, he really wasn't. But, you know, we see him fighting him throughout the, ep throughout the episode. Yeah, I like that from this episode. And, um, I've also liked the fact that, um, that Diggle, you know, Oliver tells Diggle, you know, you can't be on the, uh, on the uh, on the floor anymore because he has a baby now and he's like you know you, you would have been dead a bunch of times if it wasn't for me I like that tension between the, those two in that episode and we also see and towards the end of the episode we see Sarah yes she has come back but not for long <laughs> um, so yeah uh, then towards the end you see that she gets shot down with three arrows she's dead which left me emotionally emotionally sad. It did. The the, mo the saddest death of 2014 for me in like movies or TV wise, really. I really thought so. So yeah. Uh, overall, this was a really great opening start to this you know season. I really did enjoy episode one of season three of Arrow. So it's time for my official grade. And my official grade on season on episode one of Arrow is an A. Plus, I thought this was a great episode. Did really enjoy this episode. So let's move on to episode two, which is entitled Sarah. So what this episode is basically about is that now they're trying to track down who Sarah's killer is. And, you know, we see that, that we might think it's this guy that's wearing a black mask. He's shooting arrows. We might think it's him. And Laurel has gone insane about this. She wants to find whoever this guy was. And, yeah. And so what I think of this episode, another great episode, really was. Um, It really was a great episode, in my opinion. I loved this episode. Just as great as, as episode one, in my opinion. Episode two was just awesome. So let's get into the things I liked about this episode. The action scenes in this episode, the, it was really action-packed actually, this episode was, and I did really like that from this episode. I did like the villain a lot more than last week's villain, I did. Oliver Queen, he's upset about this, and you know, he's trying to calm down Laurel because Laurel is just like losing her mind about this. I like the fact that he's like, you know, I'm gonna find, I'm gonna find who this person is, don't you worry about it. He, and she doesn't want to get, in, 
get involved. And it doesn't want her getting involved. Overall, this was a really enjoyable episode. I thought this was actually a better episode than episode one, in my opinion. Even though I did love episode one, I just felt like this one had a lot more character development, had a lot more action. Also, the scene at the funeral. Man, was it, man, was it sad, you know, seeing them all gather around, looking at Sarah, it, you know, Sarah's grave, it, it was really sad. My official grade on episode two is an A+. Plus. This is a great episode, in my opinion. I did really enjoy episode two. It was a great episode. So let's move on to episode three. Episode three, this one is called Car, Car, Caramato, or something, Martiz, it's something like that. Episode three, now... This episode is about Oliver and Oliver Diggle and Roy. They're going to Carto Matiz. That's what it is. It's Carto Matiz, and they um are going to go rescue Thea and try to get her back to Starling City. Now, what I think of this episode, this felt like kind of a filler episode, but I still really enjoyed this episode. I really, I do have a few problems with this episode though. But let's get into the things I like. The things I like. You know, I did like the action in this, you know, the action is always great, but the action in this um, one, I did really enjoy. You know, I like that they built the bow, they didn't take their weapons with them. Oliver built bow and arrows out, out of the stuff around the, their hotel, which was great. I love that they did that. That was awesome. You know, I did like some of the flashbacks that we saw of Thea being trained by Malcolm. I did like that. I liked seeing that from this episode. You know, Malcolm basically teaching the uh, not to take pain and everything. I did like seeing that. I did like some of the tension between when Oliver was talking to Thea and everything. I did I did like that stuff. I did like that he was trying to convince her to go back to Starling Sea, but she just wouldn't. My two negatives I have with this episode is going to be, one, why hasn't Oliver told Thea that she's the arrow yet? Why? Why hasn't this happened yet? I mean... Are you kidding me? Why hasn't this happened yet? Uh, are you kidding me? Tell her that you're the arrow already, okay? And my second negative is is that at times this episode very felt very slow. So yeah, I felt like it was a slow, slow episode at times. That's just my opinion, of course. Time to give my official grade on episode 3. And my official grade on episode 3 is an A-. minus. I still enjoyed the episode, so it's getting an A-. minus. Now let's move on to episode 4, which is entitled, The Magician. The Magician, this is by far the, I will say this is the second best episode. This was a great episode. This really was, um, The Magician. And this one's basically about, is that Malcolm is back in Starling Sea. He's trying to look, he's trying to, you know, they're thinking he's the one that killed Sarah, and we kind of think he is the one, but, yeah, we see that, that everything, and, so yeah, um, like I said, I really enjoyed this episode, I thought this episode was great. Let's get into the positives. The positives are the tension between Oliver and Malcolm, that's always great. I love always seeing those two on screen facing each other, it's always awesome seeing those two face each other on screen, it's awesome in my opinion. The action is awesome in this episode, it really was. Also towards the, you know, towards the end when you see that triple threat tile style fight between Oliver and, uh, Raza Ghoul's daughter that I cannot remember the name for, and Malcolm. I really enjoyed seeing that. That was pretty cool. So it's time for my official grade on ep episode 4. And my official grade on episode 4 is an A+. Plus. Definitely a great episode, in my opinion. I really enjoyed episode 4. Now let's move on to the final episode for this review, and it is episode 5, which is called The Secret Origins of Felicity Smoke. Now, the, what this episode is about... Basically, what the title ensues, we get basically an origin story of Felicity Smoke. And, you know, we see her back in the day. She was a goth. She was goth, basically. She worked for this hacker put, hacker thing. We see her. Then, in the present day, we see her mother coming to visit and everything. So, yeah. So, what I think of this episode. Just a I even though I enjoyed the episode, I did feel like it was a filler episode. I did. It really did feel like a filler episode, in my opinion. But I still did really enjoy the episode. I still liked it. So it's getting to my positives. And my positives are, I did like seeing, you know, I don't know why I forget to mention him, but Brandon Ralph. Brandon Ralph, 
but this was the episode where he was really memorable, in my opinion. You know, seeing him giving the watch to uh, Felicity's mother was hilarious. But I, I just really enjoyed seeing Brendan Ralph and, and all the other episodes he was in as well, you know. He, he's just great. He really is. I really enjoyed seeing the origin story of Felicity Smoke. I did. I did enjoy seeing her origin, see where she came from, see what happened all the way through. You know, the action in this episode, the action was great. I also did really enjoy where Oliver and Roy, you know, Roy teamed up. Finally, you know, Roy gets to do something where he doesn't get down mostly all the time. And, you know, you see him doing all this type of stuff, and it's awesome. Even though I thought this was a filler episode, I still did enjoy it. Um, my negatives are is that, that at times we have that cliched mother and um, daughter not getting along situation. And I was just like, can we just go back to wherever we were before, you know? Just thought that was, that I was really annoyed by that at times, so yeah. So aside from my official grade on episode 5, and my official grade on episode 5 is a B+. Plus. I still thought this was a good episode, even though it was a filler episode. So, what did you guys think of all these episodes? What did you guys think of episodes 1 through 5? Leave them in the comment section below, and I'm WWE Fan 0599, and we will see you all later. We will see you next week, actually, for episode 6 through 9. Peace.